my name is Ryan and I work in the support team here at New Relic. Today I'll be showing you through how to get the data from behind a New Relic 1 chart. So most New Relic 1 charts are built on event-based data, which means that the data is stored in New Relic's database NRDB and is queryable with NRQL or New Relic query language. So basically everything that you see in New Relic 1, you can take outside of where you're looking at it and query it to alter what you're looking at or to uh, put it alongside some other charts to better suit your needs in a New Relic 1 dashboard. So let's take a look at the connection times chart here in this synthetics monitor. What we're looking at right now is the DNS time, SSL time, and connect time. But maybe I want to see how long is, is my synthetics request waiting overall in this monitor as well. So I'm going to hit these three dots and I'll hit view query. And we're shown the query that builds this chart. So we'll run that in chart builder. And what we're seeing here is an exact copy of what we saw in the synthetics monitor. But up here, I'm going to add on to that with average duration wait as wait time. Now we run that and we can see that it's it's clearly very much uh, longer than the, the other attributes that we've been searching for, but that's what we're looking for. That's useful for us. So we're gonna say, call this synthetic durations. And I can add it to a new dashboard that I'm using for synthetics. So why would you do this? Well, imagine you're monitoring your applications across the entire stack. So you have your APM agents installed, you've got the browser agents installed, you may have the infrastructure agents installed on the host that the app runs on, and perhaps you have some additional integrations on that as well. Well, rather than going to the individual entities in New Relic 1 or the individual applications in the original New Relic UI, you can take the queries from the data that you're looking at and put them side by side so you can get a single view of all of the application data that you need in a dashboard in one place so that everything related to the same application is there for you. So if I go into dashboards, I'll see my synthetics dashboard and that chart should still be here. So that's how you can get the data out of a New Relic 1 chart, put it into a dashboard so that you can have everything that you need side by side.